many jobs? Three. This is the last one. The last one. This one's different. The, the Columbus International Film and Video Festival is part of the Columbus College of Art and Design. I am not the one who wants to give our money away, remember? It's him! Oh, yeah? It's him! Yeah! Uh, it is the longest running film festival in the entire country. Uh, the second longest running in the entire world. Well, this year it goes from April 19th through April 23rd. Uh, we are showing films here at CCAD. We are showing films at the Wexner Center and we are showing films at the Drexel Theater. I talked to Amanda earlier today. She said her dad got laid off. If anything happens, believe me, you're not gonna hear it from Amanda. I don't know how to say this to you, but Barnhart Tool and I will be closing its doors. I'm so sorry. I believe that there are 78 total films showing. 28 of those films are actually either from an Ohio filmmaker who has kind of moved on, uh, lives out in California or Chicago or what have you, but still has an affinity for the city and is coming back, or they were shot directly in Columbus. So it's uh, over a third of what we're showing is actually from here. It's not supposed to be like this. Nothing is supposed to be like this. I like to put the violins outside like this in the sun. This is the way the old masters did it. Strahd Style is the story of a man who lives in Laurelville, Ohio, who through kind of a social media exchange, decided he was going to try and build a Stradivarius violin. Yeah, well, I'm gonna do it. Now, how much would you charge? I was looking online and the, pe the sex dolls that people make are over $7,000, some of them. It is a documentary of his attempt to do this. It is very funny, and he, the lead subject, will be at the film festival with this violin, so you'll get to see uh, how it works out. I'm not even a trained violin maker. How am I gonna do this? Goodness, he's a character, definitely. He's such a sweet boy with a, with a great outlook on life. My full name is Jarrell Tatis Michael House. The JJ Project was actually shot up in Mount Vernon. The lead is from Mount Vernon. And uh, it is about a boy with fragile bone syndrome who goes on to direct musicals in Mount Vernon and really kind of inspires the community. Now, are you doing this because you want to direct or you want to boss people? <laughs> a little bit of both. In the past two years, the amount of filmmaking that we've seen come out specifically of Columbus, Ohio, has nearly quadrupled. And so I'm really proud that we're able to bring so many Ohio films here. All right, get it back. You just asked me that? Yes, I'm asking you. Why did you make me wear this? Because you look like a truck driver who'd been living in a Mexican motel for a year. That's why. I really see this as a celebration of film in Columbus.